So I, I think what's clear is there are certain lines of insurance which have seen a, a much reduced frequency of loss during the course of 2020 as a result of uh, the pandemic lockdowns and, and reduced economic activity as well. Uh, we've seen uh, not seen the, the same level of benefits that somebody that might be a primary motor insurer would have during the course of that year. But you're right to, to think as we come back to something that feels closer to normal, uh, those uh, reduced frequencies are, are likely to go back to a, a more normal level of losses. I, I think for our own results, um, we're cautious about uh, the kinds of gains that might have occurred in our reinsurance book. We typically don't have exposure to those frequency uh, affected layers that, that people might have benefited from. Uh, we'll sort this out over the next couple of quarters to understand exactly what the impact might have been for us. John, I've got to say, it doesn't feel as though insurance is getting any cheaper when you see what's offered at this point. What does that mean in terms of opportunities at the reinsurance level? Well, I, I think what we've seen is a um, more rational set of prices, especially for corporate insurance during the course of 2020 and coming into 2021. Our uh, Corporate solutions business actually saw uh, continued price increases in the quarter of 13% after 15% for the full year in 2020. And that, I think, bodes well for our ability to make a, a respectable return on the risks uh, that we take on uh, in that business. I think for reinsurance, uh, similarly, as the primary companies are able to make a decent return uh, on their capital, it makes it much easier for the reinsurance uh, companies to, to share uh, some of those results.